Hi everybody, welcome to a new machine learning from scratch tutorial. Today we are going to implement the principal component analysis or PCA using only Python and NumPy. The PCA is a nice tool to get linearly independent features and also to reduce the dimensionality of our data set. So the goal is to find a new set of dimensions such that all the dimensions are orthogonal and hence linearly independent and ranked according to the variance of data along them. So this means we want to find a transformation such that the transformed features are linearly independent and the dimensionality can then be reduced by taking only the dimensions with the highest importance. And those newly find dimensions should minimize the projection error and the projected points should have a maximum spread or which means the maximum variance. So let's look at an image to understand this better. So let's say our 2D data is distributed like this and now we want to project it into 1D and now what we want to do is we want to find the axes that are orthogonal to each other and when we project our data onto these axes, then our new projected data should have the maximum spread. So on the left side, these are the correct principal axes. So if we project them in 1D, so on the largest principal component, if we project our data on this axis, then they have the maximum spread and for example, if we look on the right side, so these are incorrect axes. So let's look at how the projected data would look like for, so on the right side, we made it even worse and projected it on the Y axis. So these are clearly wrong because here we can see that a lot of data is on the same spot. So we don't have any more information about them. But here on the left side, um, the projected data has the maximum spread. Um, so um, we can contain um, most of the information about the data and also the projection error, which means this would be the lines from here to the axis. This is minimal, whereas and on the right side, so here we have to make a long, very long projection line for each point. So the left side is the correct answer. And now how do we find these princi uh, principal components? Um, so for this, as I said, we want to maximize the variance. So we need some math. So we need the variance of a sample X and this is um, calculated as one over the number of samples. And then we have the sum over each component minus X bar and X bar is the mean value. So we subtract the mean value from our data set. And now uh, we also need the covariance matrix so this indicates the level to which two variables vary together and the two, the covariance matrix of two variables is defined as this. So one over N and then again the sum and here we subtract the mean and again here also the mean and then transposed. And in our case, we want to have the covariance matrix with both of our axes. So this is also called the auto covariance matrix. So we have to calculate this. And then our problem is reduced to an eigenvector or eigenvalue problem. So I will not go into detail about eigenvectors here, but I will put some links in the description if you want to read more. Um, but what we have to do is we have to find the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of this covariance matrix. 
and the eigenvectors point then in the direction of the maximum variance and the corresponding eigenvalues indicate the importance of its con corresponding eigenvector. So now if we have a look at this image again on the left side, so these two vectors that I've drawn here, they co um, correspond to the eigenvectors of the covariance matrix of our data set. So this is what we have to do. And here I've written the approach. So first we subtract the mean value from our X or from our data set. Then we calculate the covariance matrix. Then we have to calculate the eigenvectors and eigenvalues. Then we sort the eigenvectors in decreasing order according to their eigenvalues. And then we can specify how many dimensions we want to keep. And then we choose only the first K eigenvectors um, that will then be the new K dimensions. And then we transform the original data into these new dimensions by projecting them. Just this is simply a dot product of our data with the new with the eigenvectors and then we are done so this is all we have to do and by one thing that is very nice about these um, um, principal component analysis and the eigenvectors is that they are all orthogonal of each other this means that our new data is then also linearly independent. So this is a nice little um, bonus of the PCA. And now we can start. So let's import NumPy SNP. And then we create a class PCA. This will get an init with self. And then here we specify the number of components we want to keep. And then we store them here. So we say self dot n components equals n components. And we want to find out the eigenvectors. So let's call them self components here. And this is none in the beginning. And we also want to store the mean later. So let's say self dot mean equals none. And then we define our fit method as always. So this will get the data that we want to transform. And then we don't use the predict method. So now we call this transform. So this will transform our data once we fitted it. And this is just the projection. But now let's start with the fit method. So let's say, or again, let's write our approach. So we want to have the mean, then we calculate the covariance matrix. Then we want to calculate the eigenvectors and values. Um, eigenvalues. Then we sort our uh, eigenvectors. So sort eigenvectors. And then we store only the first n eigenvectors. So this is what we have to do. And here we have to project our data. So yeah, let's do this. So let's say um, here we can say self dot mean equals and then we just use the numpy mean function of our data along the first axis. Um, and then we subtract the mean. So we say x equals x minus self dot mean. So 
we have to do this because if we look again then in our formula with the covariance matrix then always this the mean is subtracted so let's just do this here and then we calculate the covariance matrix and this is called cough and then we simply use the numpy dot cough function so this will do exactly this if we only put in one input here but now we have to be careful because let's um, let's look at our data so this would be a numpy nd array where one row the rows is one sample and one column is one feature vector but if we have a look at the documentation then for this function it's the other way around so one column is one observation or one sample so we have to transpose it here so please double check that for yourself and then we continue so now we calculate the eigen vectors and I oh no it's the other way around sorry eigenvalues and eigenvectors and for this we can also use a function in numpy so numpy linealc linalc dot eich and then we put in our covariance matrix and here again we have to be careful if we um, if we look at the documentation then it says that eigenvectors are returned as column vectors so um, one column with all um, one column i here is one eigenvector um, and now for to do easier calculations we want to do it the other way around so we say eigenvectors equals eigenvectors dot transposed and then we sort them so for this we say in our sorted indices are numpy arc sort of the eigenvalues now and we want to have it in decreasing order so we can use slicing here all the way from start to the end and we put in my a step minus one so this is a nice little trick to reverse a list and now we have the indices of the sorted eigenvector eigenvalues in decreasing order and now we say our sorted eigenvalues equals the eigenvalues with this order and the same for the eigenvectors equals eigenvectors um, with this indices and now we store the first n eigenvectors so we say self dot components um, little typo here self dot components equals and now we can simply say eigenvectors from the start so from zero to self dot n components so this is why we tr transposed it here so we can easily do this transformation and also this transformation so this is the fit method and now we just have to transform it and now here we um, must not forget that we should also subtract the mean here so we say x equals x minus self dot mean this is why we stored it here and now we can project it and then return it so we say return numpy dot and we project x onto our 
components. So we the dot product with the self dot components. But now again, we have to be careful here. Um, um, because here we transpose them and now again we want a column vector. So here again we have to transpose it. So again, please double check it for yourself. And now we are done. So this is the whole implementation. And now here I've written a little test script that is using the famous iris data set. And then I will create a PCA instance and I will, um, so by the way, this will have a dimension of 150 by four. So we have 105 samples and four different features here. And now we um, only want to keep two um, dimensions. So we put in two in our initializer, then we fit the data and then we transform it. And then I print the shape of both. And then I will plot them. So now we have a 2D vector, so we can plot it in 2D. So yeah, let's run this and see if this is working. And oh, yeah. So I didn't write Python three here, but it worked anyway. So let's test this again. So yeah, here we have our 4D uh, feature vector uh, transformed or projected into 2D. And we see that all our, all the three different classes are um, plotted in a different color. So we can see that we can still have an easy separation of our um, classes. So yeah, that's very nice. And yeah, that's the PCA. I hope you understood everything. And if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye.